joins me from London, the founder and chairman of Crown Worldwide, which is based in Hong Kong. And we talk more about this. And uh, if we take your risk, sir, where do you see the greatest risk in the year ahead? Well, I don't, I don't, I'm an optimist. And I think that as far as this uh, particular time is concerned, this is the Asian century. And I, I agree with your, pre your last guess that the China situation was growing too fast. The, the economy was growing too fast. They had to slow it down. And I think they've done that in a, quite an orderly way. But do you think... But I live in Hong Kong. I yeah. live in Hong Kong, and I have to say the economy there is actually quite good. We, we, uh, we have full employment, we have budget surpluses, and we have low taxes, and it really works well. Right, but you also have had the potential for instability that we saw with the protest movement, which, I mean, we can... We, we can, we can uh, honest men and women can disagree over the, the, the way in which it was brought to an end, but it sent a message that there is something uh, uneasy under the un underneath. Well, I would agree. There, there is, uh, there, there was a protest. But you know, I've lived in Hong Kong for 36 years, and I've seen so many things happen over those years. Different types of protests, and some, uh, some natural things like SARS that have taken place and upset the economy. But I have to say, this particular protest session was quite incredible it lasted for 75 days was mainly student-led who they're very idealistic and and they believed very much in what they were doing but it was pretty clear that china wasn't going to budge on the point they were trying to to win and uh, and it, it ended it very peacefully it, uh, you know it, they went the police went through the courts they got a court order and they uh they got okay. legitimate reason to remove the students from the streets now when we talk about the wider issues within the region Asia may have huge economic potential and growth, and it may be the best game in town, but is it your view that the countries involved have the maturity of economics to handle this particular growth? In other words, we're not going to see another Asian financial crisis. We're not going to see another... I mean, if you take Indonesia, Vietnam, Cambodia, Myanmar, Thailand, all these countries, can they withstand this growth? I think so. I think the major economies of Europe are certainly growing in maturity all the time, and I think they can, they can withstand it. The smaller economies like Cambodia and Myanmar are still developing, even to a certain degree the Philippines. They're developing, and, uh, you know, they have, they have, there is some jeopardy there. But frankly, I think the leadership of these countries has gotten better with each round of elections, for the most part. I can't say in every case. Uh, but it, 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 I feel good about Asia. I've been there for 50 years, and I've watched this transition over those years in the various countries. And, and really, the countries have come a long way, both politically and economically, and I think they're in a great position now to spring forward. And your 50th years, your 50 years being there, first of all, congratulations. I mean, in an era when... Thank you. You know, in, in an era when Snapchat gets rid of a text in 30 seconds, uh, anything that lasts more than a minute, let alone 50 years, is an achievement. <laughs> so what's been the biggest single change in that 50 years? Well, I, it's interesting because I, when I look back and I saw, if you go back as far as World War II and the Korean conflict and Vietnam and the Cultural Revolution, you saw a lot of instability in Asia up till about the mid-70s. From that point on, when the, the Mao era ended and uh, China eventually opened up, I think we have had stability and peace in Asia, and that has brought with it prosperity. And I think those, that's the thing that has uh, really brought Asia forward. We've taken the human resource, the economic resource, and, and the area is really growing beautifully now. So I think it is the Asian century, and I think there's a lot, lot more to come as far as development and, and success in that part of the world. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. Happy New Year. Nice to have you on the program. Thank I'm you. Looking forward to the next 50 years.